Hello? Hello? Is this, um, is this Graham? Yeah, it is. Hi, Graham. It's uh, Michael. I'm just calling from Scottish Power. Is this a good moment to talk, please? Not a little weird from one of the sponsors. <laughs> Produce the sponsor, Dad. Bobby, you joking? It's not a sponsor. It's Patreon. It does. Oh. It does. <laughs> oh, 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 hello, viewers of YouTube. Sorry about Bobby over there. He simply can't contain his jokes. I'm such a joker. No, oh, Bobby, what? Mm. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. Nice. It's four pounds a month. And my friend Gary over here, he's going to tell you what you get. Four pounds a month. Right, you know what we get for four pounds a month? Get to see us on our beautiful faces early, right? Early access, Tuesday, you get it, four pounds a month. You also get Patreon exclusives, right? We do about two episodes a month. You get that, included in the price, four pounds a month. I was gonna say free of charge, that's not free, it's four pounds a month. <laughs> Head over to patreon.com <laughs> forward slash. What's happening, Pearl? Yeah! Oh, welcome back. Episode 119 of the What's Happening podcast. I hope you've all had an absolutely splendid week since we last checked in with you. Before we get into this week's episode, uh, we will address the elephants in the room. We have seen a lot of people asking questions about it lately, um, you know, about where Bobby has gone off the podcast, so Gary is going to give us a little bit of an update on said elephants in said room. Uh, I am the elephant in the room. Consider him addressed. Thank you very much. I'm going to move on. Fat ginger cunts. Now, um, a lot of people have been commenting on YouTube, Instagram, the works, asking where Mr. Tid Marsh has gone. Um, unfortunately, uh, Bobby's decided to leave the podcast. It's no longer for himself. Um, listen, the podcast wouldn't be where it is without Bobby, so we're gutted too, but it is what it is. So, yeah, now you just know um, Bobby will not be returning to the pod. Appreciate all the work and the time you put into it. Um, as Gary said, it wouldn't be where it was without him, so we are very grateful for everything done for us. Uh, but going forward, it is, um, you, you, you are going to be seeing mine and Gary's beautiful face every week, and we are going to be joined by a plethora of guests along the way as well. Um, <laughs> one person who won't be joining us in the studio this week is Jay Slater. <laughs> uh, there's, been, <laughs> there's been some... There's been some... <laughs> Maybe his ankle, I don't there's know. There's been some breakthroughs. When he said he found remains, have they found a, a body in its totality or was he dismembered? Well, apparently. Now, obviously, when you see this, this is going to be probably what? A week or so, yeah. roughly, maybe a little bit more after it was announced, but towards its fucking... Rigor towards... mortis was well and truly set in by now. But where we are right now, maybe it hasn't, we don't know. Uh, but uh, was it... No, see, I didn't I didn't keep up with the case at all. I'm still, I, I've am i still got all of my sorted chips in the Madeleine McCann thing. I haven't got time for two missing kids at the moment. But <laughs> from what I heard... It was in. Was it not? They found his body where his phone last pinged in an area that they've already looked. That's mad. Is that true, Jack? Will you? Before I say that, for the fact they that like, like, did they have the Harry Potter invisible cloak on or something? Just fucking hiding like that. Was that? <laughs> well, it's not. And the wind blew it off. Must have been really high up Listen, on that. Listen, it's cactus. sad. Someone's lost a child and like someone's dead, but like there's. <sighs> the thing is, right. I... Everyone jumped on the bandwagon with all these conspiracies that yeah. he was up to no good and there's a big fucking like criminal underworld in Tenerife. Um, 12 Reef, better. Um, and like people were saying like fucking, mm. you know, he, he deserved it. No one deserves to fucking die, but you're never, you're never going to know the true story. I think there is a few people who do deserve to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he was one of them, by the way. I didn't know the lad. Probably a lovely young, a lovely young man. But Who deserves to die? Name a name. Is she Shanach? Does she deserve to die? Off the top of my head. And I'd say Martin Tyler's up there. Premier League commentator, one of the most biased commentators oh, I've ever, yeah. ever heard in my life. I was thinking of the fellow who fucking gives you financial advice. What's his name? That's Martin Lewis. That's I'd it. keep him alive. Yeah, Actually, he's, he's, probably, he's probably one that we need going forward. <laughs> yeah. I'd say Martin Tyler. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate Martin Tyler. Martin Tyler's well. been... He, Ruins he's, FIFA for me. He's, he's been too long in the game as well. He... he, he, he you, you can tell his passion for the games gone, his love, his, his love for the games not there anymore. Ruins matches. Um, whoever it was who decided they were going to change the packaging on Monster Munch, because ever since the oh. design on the packaging changed a few years ago, yeah, they have not been the same. Still great crisps, 
Do you know what? But not the same. And with you on that, and the same to whoever works in Costco and decided to take the muffins out of the cardboard with the shrink wrap cellophane on top for a plastic fucking box because it gets oxygen in and they dry out and they're disgusting. I miss me moist muffins. But you, you used to get, as well. Do you know what? The Costco muffins actually, because I know, I know you've mentioned this before, which, which, which shows me that the, that, that, that the frustration is genuine. It is genuine. The thing is with it, is when they were in that cardboard box with the cellophane wrapper. You have to eat them all in one go. I had no issue with that. Yeah. That was never something that I had a problem with. <laughs> uh, but it kept it that gooeyness to them. Yeah. It, was and it, was, oh. it sticks to the roof like, of your you mouth know the, way, the back of your teeth. Like, I don't like saurine, but you know the way it's got that gooeyness to it. The muffins had that same quality. And I really... I, I miss it. I miss it. And I feel like the plastic packaging... Hey, let's go for the environment. Yep. Killing the chase ladies. I mean the fish. You could have still been here. It wasn't for that. <laughs> Imagine it was a straw that killed If they him. hadn't ruined the Costco muffins, he'd probably be a bit more keen to stay in the country. <laughs> probably wouldn't have been so desperate to get out of here in the first place. Come on, he's gone. <laughs> Are you honestly happy with Jesus' face? He's no, dead yeah, off I, th- I think I think I've ever changed the I've ever changed the packaging on the Costco muffins. Sorry, no one the Monster Munch crisps. The, yeah, the, that's what Scumbag. I said. Back. But, but, but you know what? For the sake of for for, for the sake of obviously, is, is that your biggest? Confectionery disappointments, that's changed. Because obviously they've downsized loads of chocolates and they've downsized crisping. Oh, do you know what happened to me? One thing for me that pisses me off is, you know, when the sugar tax came in and some companies have decided they're going to. So, like, strawberry Ribena is my favourite Ribena. It's it's the best Ribena. It's the best Ribena. But because strawberry Ribena had such a high sugar content, Ribena have decided to discontinue the sugar version, so they only have sugar-free. But they have the sugar version of blackcurrants. And the fucking pineapple and fucking mango, whatever. The pineapple and mango right being is shite as well, oh, by the way. Pisses me off, you know. The black currant one, if we're, if we're being honest, it's got nothing on a Vimto. No. If I'm being real. Are you a still Vimto or a fizzy Vimto, man? That does depend. On what? Now, if I'm Temperature, having... situation, environment, what? I'm a man who, if I'm going the chippy, yeah. I can't not go. A kind of a, a, fizzy, a, a fizzy can. You need a fizzy pop, yeah. I, 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 That's gay saying that. I, I won't say that again. I think, I think if you are going the chippy, and you're not getting a fizzy drink, don't bother going. Yeah, yeah. If I'm in the house and I want a, a little glass of cordial, throw some of that in the glass, bit of water. One in the morning, two in the morning. You wake up thirsty. You need a still drink, cordial down your gullet. Done. Phenomenal. You can't be getting like fucking heart and indigestion like in the middle of the night. You don't want all the bubbles. It'll wake you up too much. What one thing I will say as well now. And this is a this is a an opinion I've kept quiet on cordial for years. Okay. I didn't want big cordial. <laughs> big cordial <laughs> coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just in the recipe, right? But the cat's out the bag. Oh go on. I'm intrigued. Now I've got I'm intrigued. Enlighten me. I like I like to to, to think very uh. deep into the things that actually don't matter because I think you really find out thinking. think you really find out who you are okay. when, when you apply an investigative level of thought to things that aren't actually that important. Okay. So cordial for me will be a completely different drink depending on the time of the day that I have it. So if it's through the day and I'm just drinking it for the flavour, I'm not too bothered about the hydration. Yeah. I will have a stronger cordial. But as you said about middle of the night, if I'm drinking cordial, like I just say you wake up fucking two in the morning and you're thinking I am absolutely parched. Yeah. There's no water next to your bed. You go in the kitchen. Yeah. And not only have you now got access to glasses and water, well, there's a shelf with some cordial on. It's cordial. If it's in the middle of the night, I prefer a very weak cordial. Do you? Yeah. I do. Less concentrate? I do. No, I, I, I'm, oh, no, a, shoot me. I'm a very strong cordial, man. Like, it's got to be strong. And the worst thing, <laughs> scars me to this day, right? Woke up, two in the morning, parched, needed a drink. Fucking, was living in my Mars at the time, so I was about 17, I think. Flew downstairs, right? But I was still half a kip. And I just opened one of them double strength bottles, right? And drank straight out the bottle. Not thinking about it, lad. And fucking nearly burnt me fucking chest. Oh, that lad. It was horrible. powerful. But Lennon wanted a uh, lemon cordial the other day. And um, we could pick one up. And nice as I said, button. yeah. And as I said, I like it strong. And I didn't realize it was quadruple strength. Never seen that before. What? And if How much sugar me in that. I don't know, you know, quadruple strength, strength cordial. Oh my God, boys, by the way, I've got a theory. Go on, what? That I really want to test here. Go on. Right. Now, I'm so glad that we get to do this on the camera. Right. Somebody passed me the business card 
Because I need to go. Th- th- this this is gonna cost two pound fifty to test this theory. I'm not just going to shop here to get a drink, but right. <laughs> I have got a theory that Iron Brew, an original Lucas Aid. Iron Brew, you can't call it funny. They do not taste the same. Give me the fucking card. They do not taste the same. Right, because listen to me. That's my card. Right, <laughs> I'll, I'll have either or. Right. <laughs> what a catch! I've, I, 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 the other day, I, I was, I was hungover, so I had an original Lucas Aid. And the night before, I'd had a chippy and I got an iron brew with it. I'm an iron brew connoisseur and it does not taste the same. Right, right. But see, this is my point. I haven't and I'm a Lucas Aid original connoisseur as well. Ooh. Right, but I haven't tested them together. But I had an iron brew with, with a chippy the day before. Next day, I was hungover. I had an original Lucas Aid and I was like, that just tastes like the iron brew I had yesterday. So I'm going to run the shop. Right, bear with me. We, I will be back momentarily. And I could be able to to make a groundbreaking discovery. Okay. What you need to get is either cups out the kitchen or see if he's got any throwaway cups and blind pour them. Okay, well, so considering I can't you see. don't think they taste the same, I'll blind pour you. Yeah. So this may take a little bit of set. I'm going to go get some cups from the kitchen. Jack, if you want us to see you and have a conversation with Gary while I'm gone, be my guest. If you want to just cut back in, do your thing. But I, I, I was thinking about this before, and I was like, I'm going to save this for the fucking podcast. Because I'm convinced. That's Bear with me. Iron Brew might be a little bit fizzier, but I'm convinced they taste the same. If the contactless doesn't work on that, I will tell you the pin in a minute. Remember off camera. Yeah. See you in a sec. Right, so we are back from the shop. I have went out, I've bought the Iron Brew, I've bought the Lucas Aid original. Now, as I said, I haven't actually done this as a side-by-side comparison just yet. I, I thought about it the other day. I had an Iron Brew one day and a Lucas Aid original the next, and I thought... They taste the exact same. So what we're going to do, Gary is a self-proclaimed connoisseur in the two. Now, when I was in the shop, somehow a pineapple ice lost Mary, fell on the till, and I paid for it. Don't know where it come from, but it fell in. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're going to do... That's why we're skins. What we're going to do, we're going to pour... So my brew, you struggle to breathe, do you? <laughs> my dear, this scene is it, just drop. No, my hat's going in and out. Oh. Right, so Gary can't see a thing. So one of them's in the glass. Remember Gary. which one's what now? I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to have to, otherwise I've fucked up the whole bingo, experiment. Bingo, 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 bingo. Right. right, now Gary, what I need you to do as well yeah. is before I pass you them, I need to have a little sip just from each one of the bottles, just so I can okay. test my own theory. Uh, uh, oh, crap. Because I can fence them. Lovely drink. Lovely drink. It's a beautiful day. And I'm all. I can hear you gulping. I can, I can hear nice. you gulping. Okay. <laughs> so, firstly, I'm going to no. pass them over the, um, I'm going to pass them this one first. You want to take me out of them? Yeah, so feel free. Feel free. Um, Woo! So this is your favorite. Wait, there, put, them, put, put them down next to each other. I know exactly what they are while looking at them. Okay, yeah, so appearance wise, there is a difference. Okay. Appearance wise, there is a difference. There's a go. Now I'm going to pass you this one first. Okay. I'm going to have to smell, I've got to hold my nose. Gary, you can do as you please. Okay. Okay. Just thinking you know which one that is. Are you sure? 100%. 100%. Now I'm 100%. Gonna, now I'm going to pass you number two. <coughs> okay. And you've poured both drinks into one glass here. I can taste it. Um, no, no, no. Um, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Right, so. I mean, you've got to keep that for your own safety then. It's up to you. So, right. Glass A and glass B. Okay. What was glass A? Glass A is you can't call it funny, Iron Brew. And glass B is looks like the original. Hey, let me just do one more side by side because now when I when I, I will admit when I done the shift he didn't taste as closely as I remembered him tasting. <laughs> He's regretting this. One was significantly sweeter than the other as well. I think the Lucas A was significantly sweeter than the Iron Brew. Maybe is it a flat? If you drink it flat, it's closer. Wonder what it tastes like combined. Should we find out? Yeah. It's like heroin to the Scottish. 
It's actually not bad. <laughs> Give us a little go with that. Do you want, do you want, which, I mean, you can have one. I'll have whatever you don't want. Um, I'll give you the iron brew. Here you go. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I apologise for everybody who, 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 might have, who might have got on board. And, oh, really? Because I, I was sitting here the other day and I was going, I'm not even messing. Iron brew and original Lucas, they do the same thing. <laughs> they scam not the unlike each other. Do you know the way a, a small Mackey's drink fits into a large cup? Yeah. Or like a medium or yeah. something like that. I was like, have we been getting scammed? Because I, scam. I noticed. I noticed not long ago on, on the back of on the back of every near enough every fizzy drink, it's either owned by the Coca Cola company or Briffick. Or Briffick. Yeah. So I was like, well what if they're just yeah. creating their own competition? So that's it it so was the conspiracy theorist, didn't me? It's Coca Cola, Fanta, Sprite, all those are Coca Cola, Tango, Pepsi Max, Seven Up, they're all Briffick. Well, yeah, I wonder what happened. Did they, did they make the all? Mafias? Did they make all the drinks to just create their own competition, or did they just buy out companies that would also make a nice drinks? So didn't overtake them. Yeah, probably not. Because then they can decide what one gets marketed more than as well. If they buy them out, they're like, okay, well, even though Sprite's nice, we're not going to promote it. We're just lemonade. It doesn't need any promoting, really. Exactly. Have you ever seen any of the uh, the marketing drama between Coca Cola and Pepsi Max and stuff? No. Where they always have like marketing beef and Pepsi Max done. Um, Done a, a, a marketing post for Halloween, and it was um, it was it was a, it was a can of Coke, I think, or it, it was one or the other. Yeah, let me find it because cool. I'm gonna just fucking butcher it here. Um, uh, Pepsi versus Coke advert. So Pepsi put the original advert out. It was a can of Pepsi. With a Coca Cola cloak on it, uh, okay. saying, We wish you a scary Halloween, right? Right. And then Coke put the exact same advert out and just changed this, saying, Everyone wants to be a hero because Coke's the cape. Okay. So look, that was the advert. So Pepsi have put the first advert out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine being the ones at Coke who've been like, we've got to get them back to that. <laughs> Shut up, lad. <laughs> Shut up. Lad, the best, the best marketing or social media team out there is Aldi, lad. Mm. Aldi social media managers are the fucking best thing I've they're ever not, seen in my life. They're not the best. They're just the... Like, they, 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 they're the one, they, they'd be like the ones who'd be the first person to realise, hey, we can just use ChatGPT to do our coursework for it. You know, like, they're just looking at what everyone else is doing and going, just do that. <laughs> just do that. It's man. so funny, man. The fucking, well, remember they brought out that, that, that range and it was, it was McDonald's food. Yeah. In, in but the they're all doing it now. Tesco do it, as they do it, they're all doing. Oh, really? Like, the, like 20 nuggets, spot, and it's like purple and white, like Mackey's theme boxes and all that. Do you reckon shops like as they're in Tesco fucking hate the likes of Aldi and Little because they're like, fuck, we've got to fucking put the prices yeah. down. Yeah, because now all, it's, all, all Tesco have is on their shelves next to the fucking the SEL, where, you know, the prices, it'll say price match with Aldi. Actually says that really? at Tesco. Really? Yeah. yeah. They're just living in the red. They're just living free. in the red, fucking a rem free. Living like. in the red brand free. Um, that was yeah. snack right all it's over the gas. Tesco, yeah. Exactly. It's fucking. Um, do you know what they want to talk about? Go on. Hit me with it. Trump getting plipped. Right. That was mad, wasn't really. it? It was mad. Um, but have you seen his first public appearance since it? Mm -mm. So he, he, he's come out. Yeah, look, fucking all over Tesco. Big price match with Aldi. Oh, shit. All over okay. the shop. So uh, Trump comes out. I've just spat everywhere. <laughs> Trump comes out. And he's got a big plaster on his ear. And he's oh, walking I've seen through that. The, and they're playing. Many fucking, men. Many men. Did you see what 50 Cent done at the concert? Yeah. <laughs> with the <laughs> with <laughs> <his fucking> face <laughs> on get it. Dice, right? yeah, well, I've seen a thing. Jack, I'll send you the video mm -hmm. in a second. Mm -hmm. So that. Is this where he's moving his head? Um, yeah, where he's. Like, so someone's done like and a. Like a, a scan of like, like a bird's eye view of his head and they've like. They've proper like mapped it out and graphed it out and stuff like that, and like they've tracked the movements of his head in comparison to the bullet, like the fucking direction that the bullet was coming, and he's been like that, and the fact that he's turned his head has meant the bullet skimmed his ears. If he had kept his head like that, it was going for the fuck off and pinging him. I'll send you the video in a second. Yeah, scatty. Have you got Twitter? Oh, you look game. But then, um, but the bullets that missed him. Killed people behind him, didn't he? Oh yeah, he got like the people behind him got absolutely fucking salt and pepper. Like, it was yeah. it was rough, but like Have you seen Tenacious D? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's been going on so, with it? So what's that? Them two, Jack Black and fucking Kyle, whatever's face, 
been having a bit of drama back and forth for a few years, haven't they? Because they're always threatening to split up and get back together and all that. And they were on stage and they were doing um, a happy birthday thing, like this fucking big robot. Yeah. I thought something was coming out with a birthday cake. And then as like the wish and happy birthday, that Kyle fella just goes, um, something like I wish they didn't miss Trump or something, or how did they miss Trump with the bullets or something. Right. And then Jack Black's now cancelled the whole tour saying it's inappropriate. And this Kyle's had to come out and do a public apology saying, you know, he didn't want to offend or hurt people. He, he doesn't want to get mixed up in the politics. He shouldn't have said something so distasteful and all that. And I was like... Yeah, but wasn't Jack Black? Is, isn't he like a big... De- he's a big Democrat, though, isn't he? It's fucking mad, lad, isn't it? it? N- none of it makes sense There's a conspiracy. It was him who shot him. It was Jack Black? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, if you, so have you seen, like, people are saying... And I mean, I don't know whether this is a right-wing conspiracy theory or this is the actual truth... Um, I've all smashed chicken wings now. I've convinced myself it's the truth. Go on. That it wasn't set up, like it wasn't staged. Is that recording, by the way, Jack? Yeah, it it's wasn't good. set up, it wasn't staged. Yeah. But it was an inside job. Well, so, if you watch the Secret Service, they're all a bit weird. They're moving a bit, man. And apparently there was people in the crowd shouting that there's somebody on the roof. There was. The there's, there's a video where the fellas, like, it's a video, you can see them fucking commando crawling up this mm. roof, right? And they're going... There's a man on the roof! And there's like busy, he's not just doing nothing. Yeah. But then also, if you look at the actual perimeter, how close that building is, that is the only building that's a clear, clear shot. Of sight as well. Yeah. So, yeah. the Secret Service and the police force and whatever else there is there, they set up a perimeter. Like when you look at fucking, when they do speeches outside fucking um, the Capitol Hill or whatever in, in America, it's locked off. The fucking hotel half a mile away is yeah. like a security yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, so, why was a little barn? Fucking 50 yards down the road, not locked off. You know what yeah, I mean? It seemed, something seemed a bit mad with it. Something seemed off with it. It could be the greatest publicity He's won time. because of that. I think he'd won anyway, but he's definitely won on the back of that. It's just... Because Biden's already fallen apart. Did you see Biden last bringing week? Bringing on Zelensky as Putin and yeah. stuff like that. And, and then that Harris, the vice president, he called the vice president Trump a woman, wow. a black woman, and he, he introduced to the stage, vice president Trump. Yeah, he's... <laughs> He's been fucked for a little while in now, hasn't he? Yeah, you know, I when you think about it, he's... He is finished. Time for another word from one of our lovely, lovely, lovely sponsors, Bobby. Who's the sponsor? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> the sponsor is Grid. And that's two eyes in the grid. Um, the lads over at Grid, the lads over from Ireland, uh, sent us over a big care package full of goodies, tracksuits, T-shirts, caps, you name it. How smart are um, you? Very smart. Um... They are based over in Ireland, but don't you worry because they ship all over the world. The world. If you're quick enough, they're about to drop to summer release. Some nice trackies, some nice shorts. Very contemporary, very lightweight. I'm fat, I look good. And 1st of June, they're dropping in Foot Asylum, Liverpool. Ooh. But, but Gary, if I may. You may. You will not get 20% off in Foot Asylum. But I'll tell you where you can. Head over to Grid Official. Dot com and then when you get to checkout, put in the code happening twenty at checkout. I'll repeat that for you, Bob. It's happening twenty at checkout, and that gets you twenty percent off all of your orders. Kids, of us because we really are men of the people. We That's are. gridofficial.com. Their Instagram is grid underscore. That'll be on the screen. Check them out. Links in the description. Bang. Yeah. This is the one the other week as well. Where standing behind the podium, someone's talking. There's someone there, Biden there, someone there, someone there. The fellow who's delivering the speech turns round, shakes Biden's hand first yeah. as the president, then goes to the fella on the left of Biden, then goes to the right, and Biden sat there with his hand out, fuming because he's not shook his hand, and he's like, you just shook your hand 30 seconds before. Well, did you see the thing of him when he was in a black church through the week? He went to, like, you know, when they got the big gospel choir and yeah. stuff. And they're all singing, obviously, about God and Jesus, and he's sitting there going, Me? Like, look, I'm not thinking they're all, like, singing about it like that. He's, he's been... He's tapped on the head? He's been... He's, 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 I think he's been tapped on the head, lad. He's a bit fucking... <laughs> he's, he's, he seems a little he's bit... He's not a full shilling, is he? No, he's a and few, the thing few is, buzzy shorts of a picnic day. <laughs> Them two, surely to God, can't be fucking the best two candidates to fucking lead America. Like, it always seems, right? You know, whenever there's an election over here or there's an election in America, right? It always seems that in the lead-up to... You know, when everyone's trying to throw the two cents in, like, we could be good, and, oh, well, hey, what about me? I'm doing this. There always seems to be a few like, genuinely good options. And then the two that we get left, it's like, come but on. then at the same time, without it being a conspiracy, right, how big sort of politics are and all these different political parties and all that? I don't know, I just didn't want any, any um, of the numbers on the All these different political parties and all that. The, uh, you know, is the puppet masters 
who actually run the fucking show and they just need someone who's not going to challenge them too much, is a bit of a fucking dickhead and can just be the face, do you know what I mean? Well, that's what Donald Trump has been saying since his first run for president is he's always talked about the deep state, hasn't he? Yeah. And, and there's like a... Above the government in America, there's what there's what he refers to as the deep state, and yeah. it's like they're the ones who are pulling the strings, and he's trying to flush the, that and, out. And, and then again, you don't know whether he's just saying that to rally people and be like, "There's oh, there's, there's no, but there's got to be truth behind it because every single like, on, I think, have yeah. you ever watched? Don't talk then. Yes. You build a subtitle this for yourself, won't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll see. Very ah, bad, really interesting. Good. But, like, have you ever watched the show Designated Survivor? No. On, like, Netflix? It's about the presidents, because, mm -hmm. obviously, do you know what a Designated Survivor is? It's someone who like, you protect at all costs, isn't it? So, ba so basically, I would guess, so anyway. what it is in, in America, um, and there's, there's different things, so like, so, like, next year, you know, the royal family, you know, fucking William and his son, George. Yeah. Jo because George is turning 12, he's no longer allowed to travel with William because they're the two next heirs to the throne. So they can only pick one of them to live. Yeah, so they're not allowed to travel together in case they're in an accident. They've got to have them separate. So a designated survivor is when all members of the Senate come together, either at the fucking White House or Capitol Hill or wherever yeah. they want to go. They have to choose a member. If something of, goes down, he's living. A member of the Senate, yeah, who's not allowed to go there, and they're the designated survivor. They get locked away, and and then once the event's over, if no one dies. They're allowed out, and the, the the show designated survivor. I didn't know that. Yeah, the show designated survivor is the 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 Capitol Hill gets bombed, and everyone dies. Effectively, there's a couple of members of Senate who survive, so he then gets swear, sworn in as the president of the United States of America. Oh, shit. But all these shows about like America and stuff, there's always the common theme running through it that. Other people pull the strings. Yeah. When you're in the fucking defense room and all that, there's other people, like military leaders and all that, who get the final say <laughs> like on big, certain like things. Like generals who are high up as yeah. well, they're meant to be the, the, so if, really if, influential. If all these shows and all these books are saying the same thing, it can't just be a coincidence, well, surely. Well, there's then, there's, then the, like, there's, people, there's the obvious response. People are giving us, oh, yeah, like, well, it's fiction. But, like, fiction comes from somewhere. Somewhere, of course. Like, you know what I mean? As you said, there's, there's always an element of truth. There's never smoke without a fire, let's say. But. Good analogy. It's the way politics is, and especially in America at the moment as well. Like the government, like a publicity stunt is what wins your elections. Yeah, getting in favour. It, like it's not even your policy. It's like who makes the biggest, in, in yeah. most impactful. Like look what's happened. Everyone's referendum. They'll promise all kinds, and then as soon as they get in power, they just go eh, psych. Well, right, yeah. I think as well. To be honest with you, if you look at the size of America, right. Like if you look at other countries, sort of of that, of that size, magnitude. Like you look at like like Russia yeah, and North Canadians. Korea and stuff like that. Those fucking huge countries. That is sort of why. Now I'm not saying it's the right thing, but like, like politics isn't a natural thing. It is. It is a man-made thing. So yeah. if you've got that many fucking millions of people, potentially a billion people, you've got to be a little bit dictatory. If that amount of people, yeah. because if, if you've got, like, uh, let, 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 let me just see, right, how many people are in America. Let me just, let me just double check the population. What do you reckon it is? 400 million. What's the, what's the population it, of the yeah. world? It's like 7.2 billion. Population of the United States of America. Is one sec, 1.1 billion. I don't think it'll be that high because China's a billion. It says, as of the 17th of July... 2024, the population of the United States is estimated to be around 431,894,000 so and 33. So if you've got 341, let's say 342 million people, right? They're not always going to be singing off the same hymn sheet. Got a six centimetre for 400 mil now. Easy. Flying. But they're not always going to be on the same side. They're not always going to... 
No. Agree. So it's 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 if you're gonna put Hence these, the civil wars that have gone. That's exactly where I was going. I think America is a little bit like Yellowstone. It's ready to it's ready to blow at any fucking and it has been for years. It's been very tense in America for years. The politically. And have you ever watched the show Yellowstone? No. So the show Yellowstone itself is about Yellowstone Ranch. It's fantastic. But it just shows that America as a country, whatever you want to call it, there's completely different walks of life. Like these people who live in these ranches fucking live by completely different rules from yeah. people in the city and all yeah. that. It's crazy. And it's like, you, you then, like the UK, even though obviously there's a lot of people in the UK and they, they, it's, it's a big place, not obviously in comparison to the places like the US, but it's, it's, it's a lot of land and there's a lot of people in it. So it's like, it's it even even when there's election an election over here, it's like half the country doesn't agree with the other half. Near enough, it's always very slim margins unless there's a bit of a landslide, which is neither here or there. But if you look at America, it's like there's so many different people, and like you said, there's life in America that is at the opposite end of the spectrum. There's some part, there's some cities in America which are fucking poverty ridden. Then you've got billionaires robbing New York. I know, and it's so so it's like it it's 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 like these people are, are, are voting against like. It's over, and and you you, you put into you put into the, with the equation as well that like they're all fucking armed to the teeth. That as you said, that is why there was a civil war in the first place. I think America's going towards that again, but I think it'll be a very different kind of civil war than it was last time. It's not like they're not fighting over like the freedom of like the, it, was, it was over like a lot a lot of the civil war. Originally. I know, was, like transgender. It was like it was to do with like, like slavery and stuff, but like nowadays it's very political and it's, it's being very tense in America. For the last what ten years? Yeah, it's, fifteen it's, it's, years. It's, it's taking time on me, isn't it? As they say, all my life, it's trouble in America. There always <laughs> is. Reason like that. But there always is trouble in America. It's always very. T- I think that all. I think that it's ready to. I think it's ready oh, to. Oh, it pop. is. It's it's fucking. And I think the fact that he, I think the fact that he didn't kill Trump with the assassination attempt is only going to make that worse. Because if he if they killed him, it was going to kick off for a bit. But then it's going to be the good like his supporters have got no one to support. Then yeah, really eventually they fizzle out. Whereas now he's like a, people have been saying he's like a living martyr, which that's what they'll see him as. And he'll use the fact that he tried to kill him and failed as a now we've got to fight back. He was he was up going fight fight like it's hot, that, that's that's going to be his whole thing now. Hello? Have you ever seen the the true size of? Map. Do you know the way the globe and stuff, the world map? Yeah. They're all in, like, proportion and all that. They're not, like, the actual size. There's a map called the true size, and you can drag countries over mm. other countries to see the true okay. size of it. So that's the UK over America. Will you and scream, Nicole, what you're doing now so that we can say that it's Jack and he can just boop? On your share, let Scream, record. Let's go. Skip the countdown. So that's... That's the UK now, and okay. that's just sat over California. Okay, yeah. That's just the UK now, just over like San Fernando, California. It's that's f- how big the UK is. But then, like, compared to, compared to Canada, it gets bigger and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, you come down to like Brazil, how fucking small it is compared to like Brazil. Shit. And then we come across into Europe, yeah. And fucking, where are we going down here? Like, Australia, you, do you see how big Australia really is? No. Watch this, lad. Watch the UK compared to Australia, right? Look. Okay. Look at that one. What the fuck? Right for Australia, just a little island, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Australia takes like 26 hours to drive from one end to the other. What? It's crazy. But then, like, Russia's meant to be fucking a massive, you know, fucking landmass, but it looks like as it goes through Russia, it changes in size. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, crazy, baby! That's a bit mad. I know. I, but yeah, I honestly, I think before long that in America there's going to be. No, I don't know whether there's going to be people in the streets kind of civil war, but there's been unrest in America for fucking the last decade, and it's only gotten more and more and more and more and more tense. And then, as as time's gone on, or like certain things have happened politically that have made it even more tense again. Like the trans thing in America causes a huge divide between the Republicans and the Democrats all the time. You've got people saying it shouldn't be allowed in schools. People are like, yes, it should. And then there's there's, there's constantly that battle. It's like every week in America, there's something else getting thrown in the fire, which is making it more and more tense. And then obviously now they've tried to tried to assassinate Trump. Could you live there? Your dad asked about like fucking the political sort of effects like to, to move there or um I wouldn't go and live in like California. Oh. Because if a lot of people too... are leaving California now anyway, it's on the way that I want to Yeah, I think know. like I, I don't know, I think California's a little bit too anything goes. Yeah, like I'd, lo- I'd love to live, like, fucking Colorado or somewhere like that. Yeah, I'd live, like, rural America, like, yeah. middle of nowhere. I'd definitely live there. But 
But to, to, to be honest, as I've as I've gotten older, even in like the UK, like I saw the Logan now, and I'm like, I hate the city. Yeah, it's mad because I I've always been a city boy, and like I've got family out in Ireland. Like all my family live in yeah. County Wexford. Our David lives there. And a, a few years ago, we, me and my bear were thinking long and hard about moving over to live. I had job interviews out there and everything. Like we were thinking about it, um, and then like COVID it and all that, and we just fucking pivoted anyway. But when I was a teenager, like my family would say, oh, when are you, they say, "Well, when are you gonna move home?" Because we're fucking yeah. to the motherland. And I'd always be like, "I'm not. Like I love yeah. the city too much." But now, lad, I'd move tomorrow. The city 100%. now. I'm just, I'm just done with it all now. And don't get me wrong, if I was living out fucking in the sticks. I might get a bit of fucking FOMO and be like, ah, oh, like... Yeah, but you can always go back, though. You missed the need, hustle and bustle, bro. If you need a little bit of time in a city, you're never far from one. I oh, know, lad. Do you know what I mean? But like, Imagine I, having all that space, lad. That, well, this, I used to love the idea. My, If you'd have asked me, even even as recently as 12 months ago, if you'd have asked me my ideal like, living situation, it was a, an apartment in a city centre. Yeah. And like, now, I still look at it and go, maybe, but it had to be tucked away off the, off the, off of yeah. like the beaten track, do you know what I mean? It, yeah. it like, whereas, now I, I just, I'd love to just be in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And like, people can, people who know where to live can come and see me as and when. But, Mad, I don't know, like the, like the whole thing, of just being in the city now, it's like, yeah. No, I, I used to, growing up, I used to fucking give people all like whittle squiddles, pure g- grief for being oh, from the world. Lad, I move over there tomorrow. Yeah. Some of the places over there are fucking stunning. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It's bomb. mad, isn't it? <laughs> Some of them are sick, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know whether it's just an age. Wouldn't move through corn though. Scumbag. Nah. Scum of the yeah, air. Fuck living on the edge, yeah. <laughs> I've tried it and it's disgusting. <laughs> don't ever yeah. move through corn. I don't, I don't know if it's an age thing going on or it's just like a. A thing. I, think, I don't I know, think it's yeah. just because I, I, I wear a few shirts every now and again. No, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm a bit like, oh, he no likes more. fucking incense and everything. Like, there's a bit more space in these. Maybe it doesn't need much better. Like, I don't know, but... He's got a dream like, catcher above his bed. I just... <laughs> <laughs> a big, like, tapestry on my wall and the fairy lights over it. But yeah. It's time to tell you when I tried to spray paint my wall when I was a kid. What? I wanted to decorate my bedroom and I was like 13 and I was like to my mum, I'm having the artistic freedom of this bedroom. Like, you're not even painting it. <laughs> like, I'm going to paint it. And she was like, what Looking are you going to... Lawrence Llewellyn she, Bowen. Yeah, she was like, what are you going to paint it as? I was like, I want to spray paint. I want graffiti. And she was like, but you shit, like, you can't. Yeah, you can't. I was like, nah, watch mm-hmm. me. So I made stencils, right? And spray painted. Just, just like fucking base colours. Like, I didn't like fucking do any shading. It was just, I made a stencil and then sprayed one black, one red, one green. I'd done a stencil of the the Godfather. Sort of like, is it the, the fucking puppet thing? Yeah. Done a stencil yeah. of that. Done a stencil of Kasabian's LFS album cover, like the fellow with like the fucking bandana on. Um, I done a few of the things, and I just had like five stencils on the middle of this white wall. It looked terrible. But this was a shit. It was dog shit, lad. But Did I was you like, wear the mask in that to get rid of the fumes. It's because like, I went to school with this lad, Kyle, and his mom and dad had paid for him to have his bedroom graffitied. So we had a proper fucking like mural on his wall that was done by a professional graffiti artist, and I was like. It's what I want. Yeah. And I just that's made me I just made stencils out of like cell tape and A4 together to make them a bit bigger. And then I like, drew on it and cut it out and just stuck it to the wall and sprayed it. <laughs> and it was so bad. <laughs> I had it like I, I had it till I was about fucking 19 and I brought my bed home. And she's like, is that on your wall? I was like, Oh, I don't know, our kid was, our kid was messing around, you know. <laughs> like, our kid was in college doing he graffiti. He's autistic, so we let him, you know, we give him the creative freedom of the room. He wasn't, he wouldn't let us anywhere near it. <laughs> it was so atrocious, lad. Oh, but when the, I love when homeless people try and use their imagination. I, I might have told you this before, but there's one by ours, right? I think I have told you. And uh, instead of just going on mostly going money and all that, he, he just like he tries to like be friendly. He goes, "All right, lad, how's your mad doing? I've not seen it for years and all that." You're like, "Oh yes," and he goes, "You got twenty p, lad." I'm like, oh, "You don't even know me, man." No, you yeah. don't even know me, man. Let's tell you about the scratch card the other week as well. No, <sighs> did you win? Lad, that's all right. Did you go to scratchy? No, lad. There's oh. a homeless fella who, who, who sits outside the garage by ours. And I always talk to him. He's a good kid. Like, he he had a good life and he fucking went off the rail, rails and all that. Like, but he, he was dead sound. Yeah, and, like, I've bought some trainees and stuff before where, like, I've gone up to the garage and his feet are, like, pissing with blood. And I've gone, what's up, lad? He's like, I've only got size four webs and I've got size 11 feet. And I'm like... I'd rather have no shoes on them for my yeah. like. So like, yeah. so like, so like, so like, I'm like, you're mad, you lad, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 little, little, little trotters. Squeezing in, lad. Yeah, little trotters on his feet, lad. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like
Det er det ene. Point and touch. Jeg har nok, ja. Er det en report? Er det en report? Er det en report? Så jeg har bare sagt, at jeg har fået en size 11 og alt det. Jeg har fået en blanket og jeg har fået en sleeping bag. Jeg har altid fået en sleeping bag. Og hver gang jeg går til garage, jeg har fået en skrænd, jeg har fået en sani og en kaffe og sådan noget. Og han er død sådan. Og jeg har ikke set ham for den bedste del af to år nu, right? Thought he was dead, right? He was gone. That's what I thought. Because the last couple of times I'd seen him, he started getting in trouble outside the garage. Like the police come and got him, and he's shouting out the window, Gary, tell them I'm innocent. And I'm like, I don't even know you, lad. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. robbed them size fours, lad. <laughs> so I seen him, and he, like, he just, well, I didn't see him. He, someone just tapped me on the back, and I turned around, and it was him. And he looked dead healthy, and I was like, fucking hell, lad, long time, lad. He was like, ah, oh. being away, haven't I? He went to. He went fucking... Being some, away, he's in jail. In jail, yeah, he went, he? yeah, he went to oh. being in jail, haven't I, for just under two years. He went, um, he went, these fellas started giving me grief and started, like, volleying me when I was on the floor. He went to hit one with a hammer across the head and just burst his head open. He went, so I got done for it. And I was like, fucking hell, that's heavy, that lad, yeah. and all that. I was like, but you're looking good, though. He said, yeah, he's a fucking prison, done me well, like, you know what I mean? I was like, ah, oh, fucking sand. And I was cashing a scratch card in that I'd won 20 quid on. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give the scratch card to him. 20 quid. It's not going to be a lot to me. I don't know what his situation is now, but it's 20 quid in his yeah. ass pocket. So I just went to him, yeah, you know what, lad? I was going to cash that in. 20 quid on that. Yeah, lad. So I'm on the till on the left, and he just goes, oh, nice one, lad. He's on the till on the right, and he just goes, cash that in, lad. And the fella just goes, boom. 80 quid on that, lad. And I just went, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, lad. I was like, I haven't even clocked that. I'd won on another game, and I was like, Hey, man, that's cash card, lad. Any chance of fucking 60 quid? I didn't say nothing, lad. I just walked out and went, enjoy, lad. And I was like, 80 brick, lad. I was wounded. 20 quid, you can go, whatever. 80 quid, lad. You lad, it hurt me, you know, when I was thinking. Tonight's on the tiles, lad. I was thinking, I'm going to volume in his bag when he's asleep, lad. <laughs> that's like Christmas, that, lad. Ah. No. Yeah. So you'd have been 100 quid up, so you may as well have not done it. That's, that's hard. But the worst one I had, lad, was um, we'd booked a holiday over COVID. Like when COVID first hit and we had a holiday for the summer. And uh, we were like, shit, we're not going to go on holiday COVID. We're locked down now. We can't go anywhere. So we like, phoned the fucking the holiday company and they were like, we're not giving anyone refunds. No, we can't give anyone refunds. Um, we'll just give you a, a, a credit note or... or change your holiday to next year and I went, change it to next year, sound. Um and we paid the holiday off, right? And then COVID got uh, lockdown got lifted. We started getting into fucking normal life again. And then they were scared one gonna that we were gonna get locked down yeah, again yeah. with a second wave. And I said to me, Bear, I went, I'm gonna I went, I don't think we're gonna be able to go on holiday again in the summer. I went, I'm gonna try and see if I can get a refund now rather than when everyone else goes for a refund when they lock lockdown again. See if they'll actually give us the cash back. So, um, I banked with Nat West, um, and that's who I paid the holiday with. My card with Nat West. Um, I had like a grand overdraft. Um, I was in my grand overdraft, maxed it out. And uh, when I was trying, to, I was speaking to a financial advisor about like improving my credit, my credit shit. And he was like, start again with a new bank, start fresh with a new credit file. So I then banked full time with Monzo. So I just went bang, sound straight to Monzo. Left me thousand pound over there from that west. I was like, That's your problem, not mine. Yeah, yeah. left it bank full time at Monzo. Phone jet soon. I was like, Any chance of a refund? And they were like, Yep, yeah, no oh. problem. We'll refund the card that you paid it on. <laughs> they sent all the money, they sent like the three grand to me in that oh. west account, which was now closed. And I had a, a grand debt on it, and the money was just gone. Just free grand. I didn't get a holiday, and I lost me free grand. Oh no, glad it was the worst thing I've ever done. I was just like. And then we went in lockdown, so we could have went on Aldi as well. Oh, it was the worst thing. Oh, lad, that's lad, disgusting. Lad, it hurt me soul, you know? That's disgusting. When I think back of all the money I wasted over lockdown, it fucking hurts me. Lad, that's disgusting. I told you what happened, didn't I, when I got made redundant by the car phone warehouse, because they were they, they were closing all the branches yeah. that weren't inside the curry shop. Mm -hmm. So I shouldn't have been furloughed because I got made redundant. But every month, you end of the paid. month, because I, I was getting... It's all right, that lad, I was it? getting 750 in my bank. That's... Saying nothing. Yeah, well, I had nowhere to go. So I was just buying weed. 
<laughs> I was buying weed and games on the Xbox. I think I'm like, this is fucking sick. I was thinking, I'm never getting out of lockdown. I'm getting 750 quid a month for the rest of my life, free. <laughs> no one's even going to notice. And then we come out of lockdown and I was like, surely I should still have some money left here. And then we, we Snapchat memories a year later, started replaying and there was just pictures of me every month with like two hours like, nah, <laughs> and I was sick. And I was just like, ah. My biggest regret that Go lockdown. What did you say? Oh, you told me this. He'd give him his four days, only paid him four. Horrible lad, isn't he? It was your request. You know the best, they can't see you later. That's, That's horrible, horrible that, you know. Well, the company I worked for when we went into lockdown um, was a, a manufacturing company, and they started to furlough everyone, sent everyone home on 80% pay. But we were going through a, a new product release. So we were designing and installing new facilities and I was part of the engineering team. Um, so they were like, our engineering team needs to stay on site because you need to be able to install everything for when lockdown's lifted. We need to actually start producing. So you are going to stay on site. And we were like, yes, yeah, sound right. Uh, they were like, but, you know, we're losing money because we're not producing. So you've got to, you know, meet us in the middle. So we're going to reduce your wages to 90% pay. And we were like, so we're getting 90% pay to work 42 hours a week, but they're getting 80% pay to sit on the fucking asses in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not fair in any way, showing people formally. They were like, deal with it, lad. And they just made us work, lad, for fucking 90% pay. And then eventually, they're like, oh, you need to go home. You just can't be on site, but you just need to continue to do all your planning and everything at home. So I'd just be online on Teams. I'd just be on fucking Call of Duty Warzone yeah, all day. Yeah. But then my boss used to play Warzone with me. So I found that you could hide your online yeah, status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was just like, appear offline and just be on Warzone all day getting paid 90%. And I was like, fuck you, yeah, you little slags. Imagine lovely. that, don't imagine saying to someone, hey, you're going to work a full week and only get 10% well, more. Do you know the, way, the worst thing an employer has ever done to me? Like, well, let, 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 let me think, because I've lost a few jobs, so let me just make sure that this is <laughs> definitely the worst Is this one. the worst? Yeah, no, it is. So it was. I'm not going to name the company. It was a power company from Scotland. <laughs> and that's all I'm willing to say. <laughs> yes. If you can piece that together yourself. British gas. Yes. Uh, but so I was just a salesman. I was one of them on the street. Like I love you. Know, like that. that look now. I know you're busy. But what are you? What are you? Like, you don't want to die at hyperfame, yeah? Like, well, Buy some yeah. meeting. <laughs> and then we get in and we try, we try and swap it over to Scotch power. <laughs> uh, oh fuck <laughs> well 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 I'm just catch out the bag <laughs> um, but yeah so like the, my supervisor <laughs> was a bell end he was he was this fella called Graham um, and uh, he, he, oh, he was such a tit he was divorced he was recently divorced as well <laughs> um, but he, he was he was on really good money yeah. but his wife took him for fucking everything so we really? had to move out of a nice house Um it's like a one bedroom flat on his own. He's, but he was like he had he was he had loads of material possessions. Yeah. He had like nice watches and stuff. So he had to sell his watches. But instead of just selling his watches and just taking the loss and going, my wife leg me. I'm having to sell my possessions. He was selling his watches. with buying like the fake equivalent to it. So he was so then he had to sell his car, but finance the same car. So we, so to the outside world, he was living the same life. Yeah. He, he was he was fucking. Yeah. But we all knew that he wasn't, because yeah. he told us what had been going on. Because yeah. we were, because like, we were waiting for like sales reports, we were waiting for commission reports, and, we, and, we, and he was like, "Look, we, I've got so much going on." And we were like, "Yeah, Sean, no worries, take your time." Um, and then one day, I, he, he used to, me and him never used to see eye to eye. Okay. We, ju we, we just didn't. We were just very different people. We got yeah. under each other's skin. We just never seen eye to eye. He said, "No." When you when you're in them jobs, when you're a salesman and they call it venue based sales, you're on yeah. the street trying to sell. Um, they've got different venues, so it'll be like the foyer of an Asda, okay. or it'll be a high street somewhere, yep. or something like that. And the worst, like, but so the way there was like a few venues that they had where if you if you knew you were getting sent there that day, you'd be lucky to make a sale because it was just dead. There yep. wasn't much foot traffic, and yeah. so there was Saint Helens Town Centre. There was. Ghost Town. 
the range in St. Helens. You'd be in the foyer just waiting for the elderly to just finally make it from the car to the door. Right on them. Yeah. And then there was another place somewhere in Wigan. <clears throat> I can't remember what it was called. The galleries or something. Right. It was like another little shop in High Street, but it was dead. Oh. So if you, you knew if you were going to one of them three places, you were hardly making a sale. That yeah. day you'd be lucky to. And he kept sending me to the range, and he kept sending me to the range, and he kept... And I knew he was doing it on purpose. Yeah. Because, now, I wasn't asked about whether I made the sale or not, because I was salary plus commission. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm still getting paid my fucking daily rate anyway. I don't give a fuck if I'm, if I'm, if I'm getting paid to sit here on my phone. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. And then, what, and then he, he, so he sent me to the range every day for, like, 10 days, two weeks, whatever it was. And then he... And then he shagged his bed. And then he... No, he, he used to, like, come from venue to venue each day. At some point, he'd just Check pop in and just see what you were up to and that. Uh, and he's Mystery come to me. Yeah, yeah. oh. He's come to me and he, he he's come in and he's like, hey, can we just have a little chat? So I was like, Yeah, so then we went from the foyer of the range to the cafe of the range. And me and him are sat there and he's like looking at me across the table, like this is some big fucking business meeting that we're having. And I was like, <laughs> Alan we're in, Sugar over like, there. I was like, we're in the cafe of the range, there's a bucket on the floor next to us, catching the fucking drop, sneaking through the roof. Like, let's let's not think we're like, let's stop taking this so seriously. You've got a fake <laughs> tag on. So I don't know what you're <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, the apprentice so over there. there. And fucking he went and noticed your um, <clears throat> your sales numbers. The last couple of weeks have really been have really been like you know down to what they usually are, um, because you keep sending me here. I said all of the lads have said nobody comes here, so scrappy, find somewhere else. Yeah. it's shit. Cut your losses. Like nobody comes here. Yeah. We, like I was like we, I speak to maybe seven old women a day. None of them even know what the fucking iPad is that I've got in my hand, so they don't yeah. want to put the details into it. And then so like what are we doing? And then he he went, he went damn damn listen nice. He went, let me use me as an example to you here for a second. And I was like 21. So I was an hard faced little cunt. Yeah. So I was like, go on, Graham. I was like, fucking like that. Go on. Mm. Use me. Use yourself as an example. He went, look at a man like me, Dan. Right? Nice car. Nice watches. You could be this one day. You could have that. Wow. The car and the watches, you know. And I went, to be honest, Graham, I was like, I'd rather have my wife. And a re- ah, ah. I, yeah. Touché, no, motherfucker. I, was, I was like, I'd rather have my wife. I was I'd like, rather have my wife than fucking yeah. crazy market watches. Yeah, yeah. And I, went, I went and 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 prefer to play a real watch. <laughs> I was like, because we all know the watches are fake, game. I was like, and we all know the car's finance now. I said, <laughs> and we all know the reason I've not been getting any fucking sales is because you keep sending me here. I went, so do me a favour. I went, don't ever, ever. I was like, sorry, sorry give me that. So he was like, uh, 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 get off. <laughs> he drives away <laughs> and then I was on holiday the next week in Barcelona went, I went to Barcelona for a week Love lovely little week nice little laid back week comes back into work the following Monday and I goes to sign on to my work iPad Meh. wouldn't let me on and I was like this is odd signs again not and I thought oh wait there your details refresh every two weeks maybe I need to make a new password again yeah. for security reasons have a look nothing so I phoned Graham. And I went, Graham, um, I can't get on to my work account, meaning I can't work. I'm just letting you know. Um, you, you're going to need to sort it out. I was like, because, you know, like, I need to work. Yeah. And he's, he's like, okay, yeah, we'll try and get that sorted. We did it in like an hour or so, so we'll have a look. Then I went, yeah, no, I went, no worries. I went, what am I meant to do if, if within the hour you, to, you know, if you get any, uh, it's still not working. He went, don't worry about it. He went, there's like a cafe near or somewhere near the venue, you know. It was, it was over the water. It was by the Pyramid Shop. It's in the Birkenhead. He went, yeah, there's yeah. a little cafe in here. Oh, like a Costa or something. He went, if it's not working, go in there, get yourself something to eat, have a coffee. Just just hang fire for me. I went, yeah, yeah, Sean. So I keep saying that it wasn't working. Goes and gets a coffee. Sitting down, waiting for Graham. And Graham turns up. And he went, say, see, Dan. He goes, the reason it wasn't letting you log on. I said, let me just show you something. Now, he pulls his iPad out. And he shows me a list of complaints that have been made about me. And my sales tactics. And, okay. And I was looking at them and I was looking at the dates of... Is he fabricated w- complaints? Yes. Wow. Because they were all on the dates that I had been on holiday. Wow. And, they were, and, and, he had, he had, he had, and it was obvious that what he had done, he had just changed the name on the complaint form. Because some of them were coming from like other branches that were like down south or further up north where I'd never been. And I was like, well, I, I've never been there. I was like, and on that day... I was on a beach smoking a joint and drinking cocktails all day. I went, so that wasn't me. And I was like, that one wasn't me. And he went, unfortunately, Dan, the complaints have already been processed. There's nothing we can do about it. 
um, we're going around to let you go, and I was like, what the fuck? And I was thinking, like, doesn't like no wonder, no wonder she ran. <laughs> I was a tiger of a cunt of a cunt of the cunts everywhere. Do you know what? Like I was gonna, what a fucking I was rat. gonna kick off, but it was one of them situations. You know when you just you know you beat. You know there's nothing you can do. Yeah, and I get that. And I was just fucking like, disgusting. Isn't it? it is. It is. But made up his bed, left him. I, it, I was fucking just like I knew there was nothing I could have done about it. What you reckon he's doing now? Do you know what's his name? Um, I don't. You know. Do you know what? I might tell off his number. If he, if he actually bring him. Graham, was it Graham oh or the E? Uh, do you want his number? If I give you your phone, I can I try and call him? I dig. Like, hey, mate, I'm just, I'm just calling you here from Scottish Power. <laughs> Is it? Hey, pass you. Pass your phone, guys. Let me put his number in. Is that him? <laughs> Let me see. Is that him there? No, that's that not him. It's it's like it's spelled that way. Ah, oh, okay, one second. It's spelled the Welsh way. Ah, oh, if I can plan call my old boss here, that is gonna be lovely, you know. Yeah. Um, no, don't go on for one. Just do it and then block his number. Straight after. And then he can't get back in touch with him. At least I hope this is his number, you know. What is it? Oh. Right, Jackie. Please bleep this out, Jack. I just show me it. Oh, okay. Okay. Would be. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Just can't speak now. Hello. 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 Is this um? Is this Graham? Hi, Graham. It's uh, Michael. I'm just calling from Scottish Power. Is this a good moment to talk, please? Yeah, come on. Cheers, Graham. Um, so, just, just a quick one. We've recently... Uh, no nice way of bringing this up. We have recently had a list of complaints um, from some customers. Um, apparently... Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently, Graham... What's been happening is you've been showing people your watches and apparently they believe the fake and people are saying, please stop it, Graham. It's knocking them sick. Again. Apparently, Graham, you've been showing off your watches, a couple of tags, maybe an, maybe an AP, and people believe the watches are fake. Who's this? Matthew. Vindication. I yeah. felt good there. I oh. felt good there. Because oh. I, I know we got me wrongfully sacked either. <laughs> we didn't break any laws there, did we? Matthew. <laughs> it was it was when you were like, hi, Graham. What did you say your name was? I can't remember. Michael. Oh, oh, oh. This is Michael. Hi, my name's Michael from the Scottish Power. You got time to talk? And he was like, yes, of course. He changed his voice. <laughs> Graham, I'll get Ah, he was audible, lad. He was audible. He was audible. I'm glad she left, Graham. I'll be honest, very glad she left. Um, oh, he, he, he was an horrible man, you know. He used to like proper strut in with the same fleece on every day. I was like, all right. I, uh, I worked for a company called Kirby Vacuum Cleaners. Did I ever tell you about that? What did, that, what did they do? Where were they based? Uh, they weren't in Kirby. They were in... Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, they were in for Zachary. Oh, oh uh, okay. Well, well, no. Uh, Ain't the hospital. It's somewhere up there. Uh, Long Lane. 
Ways Angel. Oh, okay, so not yeah. Kirby at all. No, but it's just the name of the company. Okay, okay. Um, so I seen the job advert in the Echo, applied for it, got it. Should have seen the red flag from the start when you sign up. They take your passport off, yeah. That's mad. Yeah. Um, and it's commission based. So basically, what you do is weird, like a fucking cult. <coughs> you go in the morning, staff meeting, <laughs> and they're all like fucking bigging each other up. And the high, whoever has the highest sales in the month wins like prizes to like a trip to Marbella for two and all that. Like, there's loads, yeah, there's loads behind it. And they do, they do pay well, and there's loads there, but it's corrupt at its finest. So, like, basically. Kirby Pyramid Hoover's, scheme. Kirby Hoover's, yeah, Kirby Hoover's, it's a fantastic vacuum cleaner. They've changed the name now because I think they changed the name over the years because they got found out and yeah, they just yeah, fucking yeah, reinvent yeah, themselves. Yeah. Um, it's a very good vacuum cleaner, but what, what essentially what you do is you get given an area to go, right, today you're in this area and they give you the van, but if you're under 21, they don't give you the van, you just got to use your own car yeah, 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 and okay. you, get, you can get fuel allowance and that. Um, so I use my own car. Um, they go, right, you're in Parable today. You've got this postcode. In the morning, you have to go round door to door, <coughs> knocking, giving these Kirby scratch cards out. And then the people scratch them. And the, the prizes are, um, is it a scratch card? It was either a scratch card or a, com- it was a, scra- it was a competition. So you get their details <coughs> and you give them like a leaflet. And then they phone them up and the prizes are um, a brand new Mini Cooper, £10,000 cash, £500 cash, um, or like a carpet service. Right, so they'd phone, they'd phone up and go, hi, is that Mrs. Jones from 42 fucking yeah. old bastard yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we had a, a colleague of ours knock around at yours this morning and she's in the competition. Uh, congratulations, you've won a free carpet service. Uh, when would you like to book that in? And she'd go, oh, okay. And you'd prey on old people, that's effectively what it is. You'd pick like bungalows and stuff. Easiest with, to sell to. Yeah, it, it, easiest to sell to. And then like, so in the morning you'd do door to door. And then if any that you'd, Completed the, the days prior, um, in the afternoon, you'd go and visit them and give them a demonstration. Well, it's a carpet service. Okay. So you turn up and you're like, all oh, right, I'm here to do your service, um, but while I'm here, I'm just going to showcase this wonderful piece of kit to you so you can see what it's about. So the scratch cards are way in, isn't it? The scratch cards are way in, yeah. So you don't have a hoover bag. You put these little black cloths on with like a spring on it instead of the hoover bag. And you go, all oh, right, look, can I just show you how it works on your mattress? Because you're sleeping here every single night and then you hoover it and like it's just blowing shit all over this little black cloth. Yeah. And then you do the carpet, and then you do this and do that. And at the end of the, the, the presentation, effectively, you open these 20 little black cloths that you've hooved and gone, you're living in this every day. Like, it's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. Like, look how good this hoover is. Um, you can have one if you want. Like, you, you know, you can have it um, from a certain price. And you go, right, what I'll do is, um, because I've, I've been out today and I've done you a service, and I've done you a demonstration, uh, I've just got to phone my boss back in the office and I've got to check in with them. You confirm that I've been out, I've done it. I said, because the amount, a certain amount of services I get entered into competition to win a prize to, to a holiday to Marbella. I go, do you mind just doing that? And they go, yeah, okay. So then I phone and go, right, I'm at this number with this client. Um, I've finished. Um, I'll just hand you over to them. You hand the phone over to the old person. And then on the phone is one of the sales sharks who are then effectively trying to sell this yeah. old person, this vacuum cleaner. Uh, but when you're on the phone to them and the sales fella's going, right, how old, how gullible, have they got anyone in the house with them? And like they're preying on them and they're like, right, um, you know, is there any family members who are young in, cl- in close like proximity and all that? And we're like, no, no, no. Um, lovely, lovely person, lovely couple. Um, and they're like, okay, sound. I thought going high. So then they're like, right, um, have you enjoyed what you've seen today? Isn't disgusting what you what you're living in? It's not nice, is it? You know, you want to get rid of that. You want to eradicate that. So dirty, it's dirty. Yeah, piece of um, shit. you can have one of these fantastic pieces of equipment today, just for the the, the small price of two thousand nine hundred ninety nine pound. Starts like Would three grand. Like, starts at like three grand, right? And then the cheapest I sold one for, which I don't think they go any lower than, was like four hundred and fifty quid. Even like, that's steep. Like, it's still it? very steep, but they go in very high, and they go down low because the higher you get. The bigger the commission yeah, is, because yeah, yeah. the salesperson gets a commission. Now you then get a commission, etc., yeah. etc. Et and it was horrible. And I was only a young lad, and I'm, I'm watching like them fucking play on all these art people, and I just, I just didn't like it at all. Yeah. So I done it for about three weeks, um, and I just hated it. And then I was like, right, I want to leave, but they fucking had me, let me passport locked up. So they were like, well, you've got to save another week 
before you get your passport back. So I had to like serve a week's fucking notice. And I was like, I hated it. Even to uh, I know, I know, yeah, it's, it's wrong. And that's why I think they keep changing the name and stuff yeah. because they're fucking illegal. Um, and it was Grand National Day and I was working because I used to work Saturdays as well. And uh, I, I just couldn't be asked. And I'd done me fucking scratch cards in the morning. I just done a few shit ones and just sat in my car and all that. But um, but they had trackers on the vans and you go out in groups while I'd be in my car, they'd be in a van and you'd have to be moving around and watching and all that. Um, and I was like, I just couldn't be asked this. And then I got to me, me visits, me doing me, me fucking demonstrations. And I knocked on this half fella's house and I just went, listen, mate, um, you'd expect me to do a carpet service. I'm not going to. I meant to come in. I meant to try and fucking... Blind side, you've how amazing this vacuum cleaner is. We're going to try and trick it into buying it. Some dickheads on the phone is going to try and fucking rinse it. I went, not interested. I'm going to sit in my van for an hour. I said, that's how long it takes to do the fucking thing. I said, and then I knock back. I have to check in. You just say he's being there, sound. And he was like, oh, lad, don't be sitting in your car, lad. He was like, the races is on. He went, come in. I'll make sure to be like, we'll just watch the races. And I was like, Sam. What? So I come in this half fella made me like a bacon butty, right? And some yeah. chips. We sat there watching the fucking national and all that was sick. And then he took the sales rep for a fucking ride, <laughs> like, about how much he wanted to buy it and all that. Yeah. He's going to me, oh, yeah, I'm dead interested. And all that, I just <laughs> half, like, dead funny enough from my gully was. And um, that was the last time I'd actually fucking, I'd done anything, lad. Yeah. But lad, it was fucking disgusting, lad. It was horrible. There was one dickhead who used to work with right there, one of the sales sharks, right, in the office. And oh, he, he wore one brown leather glove, right? What? One brown leather glove. And like everyone, I just look at it and I said to him, "Why are you wearing that, lad?" Yeah, yeah. And he was like, "My bed doesn't let me smoke, so I use this to smoke, so like my fingers don't smell." And I was like, "But the rest of you does. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, inhaling yeah, yeah. it. Your fucking hair, your skin, your clothes, and you think a leather glove's gonna mask in your fingers?" In all fairness, though, if you don't, if you smoke a ciggy, the smell stays on your fingers does it? for the longest. Yeah. Well, I sound like a dickhead. You can you can spray it and get rid of the smell, but you your know fingers. if you smoke the ciggy. That's why, you know, when people smoke and they get, like, yeah. if you smoke for ages, they, they, they got those, like, yellow stains there. Yeah. It just, it just sits in your skin and the smell stays for fucking... Have oh. you got the, have you got the phone crease in your thumb, in your finger? Your little finger, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I've got as well in both of, in, it, the, this is your index finger, isn't it? Gun fingers. You, yeah, you got, like, a crease, like, that goes, like, it bows so down on your finger because, from, like, the weight your of your phone. phone. Okay. For those of you who can't see, Gary's giving Jack a demonstration off camera. Um, I think we're probably going to have to get a camera on Jack in the future, I think, for, you know, and a mic, so that Jack can speak and chip in freely without us having to, without us having to do things like this. Obviously, you know, thanks for, thanks for being with us so far on the podcast. We really appreciate you joining us every week. I just want to take a, I just want to take a little bit of time to thank you for the support once again. Yeah. Gary's back. He's back in shop, but he's not on the mic, so you can't you can't see or hear anything Gary's doing. You now can't see but can hear me. Funny how things work. Switch to the wide angle, Jack, so we can get all this in. Thank you very much. Gary's right in the middle of it. And Graham's probably at home crying about his ex-wife. And his drag watches. Oh, do you know what? I'm so I'm so glad we've done that. That was funny, man. It, he's, he's lived in my head rent free for years. He was a horrible, 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 horrible bastard. I hope he gets a fucking tumor. Any old, any of my old bosses? Should we do what we were doing the other week? I'm gonna try and ring in the market, ring in the market, is, um, and call in sick for the shift that we're not doing or something like that. <laughs> like, do you know what? I do want to do a little prank call before we sign off, but I am like, I can feel a poo coming out. If I go for the shit that quick, or you upload the ten past eight. Well, how, how long have you recorded for, yeah? Including in, including the Graham bit. We'll cut, if it's just under an hour, it's under an hour. And then, uh, right, so we'll, we'll cut that little bit of, we'll cut that little bit of chit-chat out there. Um, and then I'll jump back in now with a little outro. And then um, we will... Call it. call it there. Call yeah. it. Right, so that is the end of the episode. We were going to try and do a couple more prank calls for you, but we couldn't get through to anybody. And we don't want to just sit here all evening bringing people it becomes futile and you don't also want to see that either but thank you for joining us this has been a little bit of a laid back episode me and Gary have been sitting chatting shit again do you know what though before we go before we do sign off Gary's got a bit of news where's your phone where's my 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 phone oh yeah where's your phone terrible throw that it was I got a message got a message oh okay got a text got a message from a from a fan of the podcast Um. Uh, from last week's episode, just me and you talking. When you, I've had a few of them. Laid I had a messages. few messages. Yeah, 
Uh, fucking hell, this episode's deep, isn't it? Need more addition now, which refreshing he- to hear. Sounds like a conversation I have at six o'clock in the morning in someone's bathroom, though. <laughs> what are you doing in people's bathrooms at six o'clock in the morning? I know, yeah, you fucking little freak. Go to the kitchen with freak. Every- Go to the kitchen with everyone else, you little pervy. What are you doing? No, do you know what? I've had the fucking good, like, I've, I think I've had about six or seven people message me. It is um, nice. Just saying, like, they've sort of, like, they resonated with it or it resonated with them. What I was saying, and listen, like, to, to, to be honest, as we said as we said with Joff in the last episode as well, I feel like there's a bit of an epidemic of that. I don't know if it's just a Liverpool thing. I, I can't imagine there is. I can imagine there's probably young fellas all over the place, no matter where you're from. And, like, honestly, if it, if it, like, if, it, if you're watching the podcast and, and your head's a bit up the wall or something like that, fucking messages whenever we'll, like, throw them in. Like, everybody goes through shit, and sometimes it's not always easy to go and talk to your mates or talk no. to your family because people just don't understand the situation you're in. Um, but, and I'm not, I'm not saying we're going to understand the situation that you're in either. We're not, we're not fucking qualified professionals to give you any sort of life advice, but if your head's a little bit off the wall and you feel like you're on your own with stuff, just, like, as long as, as, long as, you, as, long as we're here, you know? You know what I mean? Get on we need to write jokes, so give us some material. <laughs> oh, it, it'll be a gold man. Some material. Uh, just, just, just if you got to get a message, just don't try, try not to kill yourself. It looks very bad than all of us in the room here. Yeah. Um, and we're not trying to, you know, we're not trying to be like, oh, yeah, I'll come to a funeral. You know what I mean? And I've got to go and do 10 minutes of stand up on paid at your funeral because I'm trying to do a good deed. And then I thought, I know you could be a rapist. <laughs> I and I'm like chicken wings. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. But honestly, as always, thank you all very much for watching. We appreciate it. Um, we are changing very shortly the schedule as to how we do the podcast so we're going to be doing double records on certain weeks and then other weeks we're going to be going out and filming some sketches and doing some other stuff so there is going to be different styles of content on the way obviously we're having a bit of a smaller team now we've got we've got a bit more we've got a bit more scope and a bit more time and that to do stuff like that so we really appreciate you sticking by us through this little transitional period that we've been going through we're going through changes and I couldn't have put that any better myself, Gary. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us. We'll see you all next week. We really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you've got any any conversation topics that you want us to talk about on next week's episode. What do you think of Eminem's new album? I thought, Let it, was us know. A, I thought it was a bit shit, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? He's, yeah. like, he's like, oh, don't cancel. It's like, no, it's time to cancel, yeah. Like, to be honest, <laughs> we all forgot about you. And I, 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 I love Eminem. I'm a, I, 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 so I'm, I'm, I told you in the past, and I made the show myself, and I was like, I used to fuck with Eminem, la. Um, fuck with you. I, uh, oh, fuck, I loved them up to the recovery album. Kind of yeah. liked a few tracks, lost interest, and then all his newer stuff. Even fan. like, even like, yeah, even like Rap God and stuff. Not my cup of tea. Not really into it. So I just fell out of love. Yeah. And then when this come out, I started listening to it, and I think it's funny as he's got. I know he's going on about not getting cancelled. And you're like, no one's trying yeah. to. I do think it's funny the way like some of the shit he's saying because you do get all these fucking yeah. modern day. Snowflakes, whatever yeah. you want to call them, getting upset. But it made me just get like nostalgic and start listening to some of his older shit again. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I, do, I just, I don't know. I feel like. But even like, even his flow, even in some of the songs, it's old Eminem, and then he just reverts back to new Eminem and some of his flows. Yeah, and I'm like, isn't he 50 now as well? Yeah, and that beard's so just for men, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it is a bit, in it? It's it like, is. it's like, just but stop. I can't say nothing because I'm going through a midlife crisis. I'm back on the tattoo game. I like I've got it. a new tattoo on my Boom. forearm. Look at it, thought you'd done it. Uh, James Brennan tattoo at Stag and Bone Tattoo. Throw on the screen. <laughs> He's a fantastic artist. Um, and it's not finished. I've still got to get the baby wolves here for the kids. Um, but another artist in the shop, Brad, um, he specializes in portraits and he likes doing rappers. So I was like, sound, use me as a canvas if you want. Who are you getting? Uh, so I can't, I can't really be getting any black rappers, not because I'm racist, because I'm a little fat white kid. Yeah. And then I was like, what? Is there anyone out there that kind of means something to me? Um, when I had a hard time a few years ago, I fucking struggled, struggled mentally. Um, Mac Miller's album, Circles, played a big Without part. Him. So I'm getting a Mac Miller portrait on my leg. Um, but I'm also, I was a big Logic fan, so I'm getting a Logic portrait as well. I like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of Logic, but I think it's I, I, I really like Logic, but then I'm toying with getting, because now I'm like, I'm addicted. I don't know whether to get like a Kendrick or a J. Cole as well. I'd go for Kendrick over J. Cole, probably. Yeah. If, I, if, I, if I was going to do it, I'd, uh, but I'd get it like on my face though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd see if I could pull that off. I think I've got it in me. I think to be honest, I'm just talking about the show. Ah, there, lad. So but yeah, it, but yeah. So I'm on the tattoo, fucking. Well, I like it. Keep us updated on that one as well. I like it. As we mm. said five minutes ago, but say it again. Thank you. 
You wanted to get one, didn't you? I'm going to get one soon. I just, I just can't afford to right now. I'm going, I'm going away soon. So let's video. Where are you going? Turkey. Oh yeah. Turkey. When away. are you going? From the tenth to the nineteenth of August. Little excursion. Excursion. So we'll get a couple of little. Uh, couple Our schedule is going to be fucked over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. The next I go away for two weeks this weekend, so I won't be here for two weeks. Yeah. Then you go away, so. We may have to do a couple of little double. One thing it's though. important to remember as well, because I know obviously the last few weeks, um, we've put this on the wide angle for us, please, Jack. Papa. Um, the last few weeks, obviously, the schedule has been a little bit up the wall. Uh, like, and we've had, I mean, m- most people are understanding, but there is a few, if it, there is a few people who are like, oh, well, we haven't had the early access, or we haven't had, we haven't had this come out. Like, sometimes, obviously, I know we can pick up the slack sometimes, which which we have been making a more conscious effort to lately. But it's important to remember as well as like we. This isn't like a full time job for us. We I've got a full time job. I've got four kids. Yeah, and we, we so we the three of us who are working on it at the minute. We do try and fit it in, just in and around our sorts of just daily lives. So if there is a week where we're a little bit sort of behind schedule, well, it's not intentional. We're not just doing it because we can't be asked. It's just obviously we've but got it's, it's been coming on. it's been a catalogue of things. Obviously, we announced earlier. Bobby's now decided to leave, yeah. so that's something that's changed. Um, we lost the producer, we got Jack, we've got hardware problems, the laptops that we had fucking die. Even the lights in the sign. Yeah, gone. the lights have died, the sign's dead. The people we bought off, we paid a fair few quid for it. No longer fucking... They just disappeared. Yeah, don't run as a business anymore. I've had someone look at all the soldering and it's a botched job, it doesn't really work properly. We're just trying to fucking sort our shit out effectively. And yeah, yeah we've got a plan. Um, we do appreciate the patience. Like, honestly, without yous, we couldn't do this. Yeah. So we do appreciate it, but please just fucking bear with us until we sort our shit out. We're getting back there. Obviously, as, as you said, we've had loads of shit that we've had to sort of, that, like, changes the schedule. And, and, He's and, had uh, an epiphany. He doesn't want to be a dickhead anymore. I'm wearing shirts now. If you haven't noticed, I'm a shirt guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, we've just, we just had, we've had a few things that have been like a little spanner in the works here and there that we've had to sort of work on. And whilst also trying to stick to a schedule and it's just, it's not always possible. I feel like now, to be honest, we've sort of, once, once these are these are out the way, yeah. you know, and, and to be fair, I can't even see them being a problem. We, we'll just double record. Well, yeah. while you're away, we've got Sam Tay coming in for a couple of episodes. Yeah, got f- yeah, exactly. We've got Sam Tay coming in, and we've got Kev Finn coming in for one as well. So it's going to oh. be sick. So the, you're going to be getting some different stuff over the next few weeks as well. So, um, it's 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 going to be fucking. You've got there's all sorts coming. Obviously, we just had to get to a point where we're at now. We, excuse me, we can actually do it. Um. I know obviously it seems like we fucking explained it loads the last few weeks, but we just want to keep it all updated and we just want to be transparent with you. Um, there's just been loads of shit to, to get through and sort out. And then on top of that, we've just got day to day life doing what that does. Um, but we're still going to keep putting the episodes out every week for you to enjoy the clips. It's still going to be coming and we're going to be doing all sorts of other shit soon as well. Just with a little bit of a change of schedule, we're going to start using the time we get every week to just you use it a bit more wisely as well. So thank you all for joining us for the third time. Um, and for the third time, we will see you next week. The support means all the way to us. See you next Thursday. We love you. Bye. Bye.